Hi everyone. Do you ever think that sometimes life is messy? A certain person once said that human propensity is to muck things up. Though, to be honest, it wasn't expressed exactly like that. Alexander Solzhenitsyn said, the line separating good and evil passes between not two states, not between classes, not between political parties, but through every human heart. And when we think about it, we can see that that, that is the case. So then sometimes we make rules to keep us all in place. Does it work? Well, sometimes it does. And sometimes the rules make us fearful and maybe give us a spirit of fear. During this past year, it has been sensible to be a bit fearful as we try and keep those rules to prevent transmission during the pandemic. But a Christian life is not supposed to be governed by a long set of external human rules, but led by an e a living and ever-present person, the Holy Spirit within us. Paul says in Romans 8.15, For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, like a life governed by external rules, as in the life of slavery. But maybe too there is always a fear that we haven't come up with enough rules, and perhaps a fear of that in an unguarded moment we may have broken some of the rules we should be following as Christians. You know, the thou shalt and the thou shalt not. And when we look around us at this messiness of life, the wars, human misery, refugees, the threat of biological and cyber terrorism, climate change, we see that there is a crack in everything. But that crack is how the light gets in. Our experiences of mess, whether personal or global, can lead us to look urgently for the sources of light and hope. Because Romans 8.15 goes on to say, you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father, you are a daughter of God. You our Son of God, and he has not left us on our own. He has given us the Holy Spirit to be with us and to help us. So we are like children whose Father has given them a guide, a comforter, a help. When the Spirit of God, when the Spirit of Jesus bears witness together with our Spirit, are we thrilled with the sense that we are sons and daughters of the King? If we feel helpless, then we need help. If we feel lost, we need directions. And if we feel destabilised, we need a still centre. And that centre is our Father. When I was a child and something happened to make me upset or I was hurt, I would go running to my father or my mother and they would comfort me or put me straight. And their wisdom and encouragement supported me during those years as long as they were able to. It's the same for our Heavenly Father but even more so. The Holy Spirit and the Word of God tell me that I am his daughter and I know that God is love and my Father 
will never let me down and never let me go. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you have a really good week and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.